Beloved, I want to jump right on here. I want to love on you with the word and I want to encourage you today. Beloved, I want to tell you that no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, that you can get through anything with the Holy Spirit inside of you as your mentor, as your trainer. He is your counselor. He is your rock. He is everything that you need. Whatever you need, beloved, he is there with you and for you. So reach out to him today, beloved. Invite him into every area of your life. Invite him in to be a part of all your decision making between you and your spouse. Or if you're single, baby, you and Jesus, that's it. You are a team. So embrace that today. And I want to let you know, you can serve God no matter what. The devil is a liar. I'm going to say it again. You can serve the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, with all your soul, with all of your strength. In Jesus' name, you can serve the Lord, beloved. You can, you can, you can. That is just burning in my spirit to let you know today. You can serve the Lord. It doesn't matter what anything, when I say that, I'm not saying that like, it doesn't matter what you're facing. No one cares. No, Jesus cares. And there are those around you that do care. But beloved, ultimately, when you sift it down, it doesn't matter what you face. Whether it's an infirmity in your body, maybe you're having to go through chemo, um, therapy and you're having to sit in the hospital or do your treatment at home or wherever you have to go to work and you have to do these treatments and you feel so alone and nobody knows what you're going through or what you're facing. Beloved, God is there with you and for you. And that did not come from God. Let me just shame the devil and tell the truth right now. Your infirmity did not come from the Lord. All good and perfect gifts come from God. That means everything evil and wicked come from the enemy. And beloved, know that Jesus took upon his back the stripes for our infirmities. He took our beating so that we can overcome anything, any infirmity, any sickness. I don't care if it's someone spoke over you and said you have ADHD or ADD or your kids do. The devil is a lie in Jesus' name. You are whole and healed and well in Jesus' name. But here's the truth of the word, you guys. We have whatever we believe and whatever we say. So if you're confessing, I've got all this stuff going on. I'm not saying that symptoms don't come on us, but the word of God says no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Yes, beloved, I have had had infirmities touch my body. I have had to pray through things. I've had to fast and I've had to seek the Lord and I've had to sow seed for my healing to manifest, beloved. But I know that I am the healed of the Lord no matter what. So I just I want to encourage you right out of the gate that you can serve God no matter what. Even if you went through a bankruptcy, even if you went through a divorce, even if you lost your kids, whatever the case, God is with you. He is for you and he loves you. He loves you and he is calling out to you, beloved. So I want to I want to bring you this word. It's in Matthew 16. And this is what he told Peter. He said, um, he said, and now I say to you, Peter, which means rock, that upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell. Oh my God, does that get you? <laughs> Woo, what a blessed Lord we serve. Hallelujah. He said, all the power of hell will not conquer it. Okay, listen to this. I'm going to read it again. He said, now, Peter, this is what Jesus said. This isn't ready. Peter said this. Okay, the Lord, excuse me, the Lord said this to Peter. He said, now I say to you, Peter, which means rock, that upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. He said, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. <gasps> my God, my God, my God. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. Oh, he's a great God, Jehovah. He's glorious. He's victorious. And he's righteous in all of his ways. Full of wisdom, knowledge and power full of unlimited resources he knows all things he has all power and all authority bless the lord oh bless the lord he's so good he's so good oh i love this he, i'm gonna read it one more time because i love it that much he said and i will give you so that's you beloved that's me that's any believer but here's the deal we have to believe him we have to believe him that he says, I, if I'm giving you this, that means I'm giving it to you, but you have to reach out and take it. You have to receive it. Okay. You have to believe that I want to give it to you. Bless the Lord. Okay. Again, I'm going to read it um, one more time. He says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Oh my God. Unlimited everything. Bless the Lord. <laughs> and he said, whatever you forbid on earth or whatever you bind on earth, or whatever you bind on earth will be forbidden or bound in heaven. And whatever you permit 
on earth will be permitted in heaven. So basically what that's saying is whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth. Okay, so that means when we pray and we are taking authority over the enemy, as a believer, get in the word and know who you are. So I, when we when we pray and we are taking authority over something, say I'm praying for someone that's sick, I have the authority. It's not angel. It is Jesus Christ living inside of me, the Holy Spirit inside of me because I have given him full control. And it's him rising up inside of me. And when I pray, I take authority. I bind that spirit of infirmity in Jesus name. And I loose the healing virtue that Jesus Christ paid for in your body in Jesus name. So beloved, you receive it by faith. You beloved, that's what we do. We believe it. As we speak the word, we believe it. We bind the enemy and we loose God, we loose the Holy Spirit to move and activate the promises that he's already given us. His word is full of promises, beloved. Okay, so listen to this. As I was heading back into town after... Um, being with my beloved today, uh, me and our son, this is what the Lord was speaking to my heart. And I love, oh, I just love having just the, the beautiful intimacy between me and the Lord. There's no, and that's what he wants for all of us, beloved. Oh, he wants that for all of us. And my heart, as he was just talking to me, my heart was, all I could do was just magnify him and tell him who he was. God, you are awesome. You are wonderful. Oh, you are lovely and you are righteous. And then just praises go on and on and on. Imagine what heaven, <laughs> what heaven is like. You know, in the, in the Lord's prayer, he says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. No one is sick in heaven. They're full of joy. They're, oh, I got to scoot my chair back. Bless the Lord. They're full of joy. They are full of, of everything that's in heaven. Joy, peace, righteousness. Oh, bless the Lord. Holiness. So think about it as the angels. One angel in heaven. There's, I did a video on this, but in heaven, there's 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even though heaven has no time. But in our minds, that's how we, we understand it. But in heaven, there's worship around the clock. There's worship. It never stops. One angel says, holy. The other angel says, holy. The other angel says, holy. My God, when they hear it, all the angels are worshiping and bowing down because God is holy, holy, holy. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> oh God, beloved, I pray that your hearts are so stirred and not just stirred, but you're so on fire for God inside that you are hungering and thirsting after his righteousness, his holiness. His truth, wanting to be filled with so much joy and so much of his presence, so much of his pleasures. He said, at right, my right hands are pleasures forevermore. Oh, I want to bask in all those pleasures, beloved. Now listen to this. This is what he spoke to my heart for this video. He said to tell you to stand strong, that more that be with us than that be with the enemy. And no matter what the enemy tries to make us think with all this crazy election and everything going on, and there's so much fear in the world, but beloved, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but he gave us power, love, and a sound mind, or power, love, and self-discipline. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now listen to this. He said, rely on my spirit, rely on my power, and listen for my voice. Prepare your spirit. Only those that train their spirit to listen for my voice in these last days will survive and thrive. Bless the Lord. He said, be quick to obey me. He said, the clarion call is going out. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. He said, I want my faith bride to come back to me and fall in love with me. He said, forsake everything to follow after me. That's all he said. That's all I'm saying. So beloved, I want to pray for you right now. <clears throat> You are loved permanently, perfectly, and so passionately, beloved. A sweet Jesus, our Savior. He gave his very life. He was flesh and blood like us. He gave his very body to be beaten and bruised and and his beard plucked out. They, they set the, the crown of thorns on his head. Oh, beloved, everything he did was symbolic for everything today. So, beloved, I pray you receive this from the Lord. I pray that everything that you have need of, you go before the Lord and you magnify him before anything else. Just magnify him. Say, God, even if I haven't prayed in so long and I really don't know you, I really don't know who you are, but bless God. He's so merciful that today is your day, beloved. Today, 
Something is going to happen for you, beloved, if you believe today, if you receive today. So right now, I want to give you an opportunity. If you don't know the Lord, never known the Lord, say, Jesus, I need you. I am a sinner. Forgive me of all my sin and all my He said, He said, I will cleanse you of all your unrighteousness and heal all of your diseases. Oh my God. Buddha didn't do that. Muhammad didn't do that. No other God, little God that's dead and buried and has no power can do that. But bless the Lord Jesus the Christ, the Messiah. The anointed one is the one that can do it, will do it. He said, when he did it on the cross, he said, it is finished. So, beloved, we have to believe. We have to believe. So right now, that's all you have to say. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I want to know you from this day forward. Come and make your home in my heart. Show me who you are every day. And beloved, you are saved. You are saved. In Jesus' name, your name goes in the Lamb's Book of Life. What does that mean? That means on the day when you, the last time that you take your breath on this earth and you go, the Bible says to be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord. So as we're in heaven and that book is open, your name, beloved, is going to be in there. My name is going to be in there. And then the Lord is going to say, enter in, thou good and faithful servant. I know I will hear that, beloved, because he is my heart's desire. Oh, bless the Lord to do his will, to be obedient to him in every way. Have I been obedient with everything? Absolutely not. But the times that I did disobey, oh, how my heart was so grieved. How my heart was so grieved. And it propelled me to never, ever, ever want to be disobedient ever in my life. And it propelled me to want to be that much more faithful to him. And it propelled me to get that much more in his presence, to be still, to crucify my flesh, to be still before God, to listen for his voice, to listen to the wooing of the spirit and to move with obedience. So right now, Lord, I pray for each and every beloved brother and sister in Christ. Listen to this under the sound of my voice. Lord, I pray your blessing over them. Lord, I pray for strength over your children, God, that right now, those that are weak and weary, that strength would go over them right now in Jesus' name. God, those that have been battling addiction, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. The Lord rebuke you. And I take authority over the spirit of addiction from any person listening to this under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. And I speak freedom over you. I speak deliverance over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lord, I pray that you would woo and draw each and every person to a deeper place with you, a deeper revelation of who you are. God, put a hunger and a thirst in them for righteousness, holiness, and truth. God, put a hunger in them to know you and to get into your word. God, put a hunger in them to be in church. God, to hear the word as faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Bless the Lord. Oh, I pray your blessing over every marriage. Oh, I pray your blessing, Lord, that you would strike a love back in the hearts of one to another where there's been envy and strife and bitterness and resentment and forgiveness. I take authority over those foul spirits and I loose the love of God, the love of God, the righteous love, the holy love, a pure love over your marriage in Jesus name. Lord, I loose a servant's heart over your marriage in Jesus name. And I pray blessing over your finances. I pray blessing and promotion over you as you obey the Lord, as you are obedient with, to the Lord. I pray blessings and provision over you in Jesus name, that you would bless him with everything that comes through your hands in Jesus name. I pray that the Lord will bless your home, your children, and bless your womb. Those of you that are believing for a baby, I command that womb to be open in Jesus' name. Lord, and I curse that barren womb in Jesus' name. Lord, and I speak multiplication and blessing over your womb. Right now, lay your hands on your womb and speak, I speak blessing and multiplication over that womb in Jesus' name. The devil is a lie in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you would bless your children, God. Bless every teenager, every little one. Lord, in Jesus' name, God, keep our children safe from accident, incident, tragedy, and harm. Bless the Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over our homes, our families, our health, that we are going to leave this world wealthy. We are going to leave this world healthy and full of faith in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. If I could open my heart and show you the love I have for you, I, it would be there. So I can send hugs to you. I send the love of Christ to you. Oh, beloved. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Oh, I hope you feel the Father's love today for you. You are his chosen one. You are his beloved child that he died for. Oh, beloved. Just bask in his love today. Bask in his love. Oh, he's so good. I just want to thank you. I just want to praise you and magnify you, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor in Jesus' name. My God, my God, he's so good. He's so good. Bless you guys. I love you, and God loves you, and he is fighting on your behalf, and help is on the way in Jesus' name.